Welcome to yet another unboxing video on the Watch Kaki channel and for today's unboxing we have another Seiko here and this one here is a personal purchase by me so I bought this one here used of the local classified so it just came in from the courier delivery guy Let's just pull out and see what we've got here so this one here belongs to one of those special edition Seiko boxes you've got the outer box and the inner full leather box here so let me just flip open this one here all right it's one of those paddy paddy or paddy special editions okay more bubble wraps here and spare links here this is not a new watch so uh, i think the owner has already sized the watch here let me just remove the bubble wrap here to show you what i've bought and here it is Ta-da! okay so this is the newest one of the newest seiko designs and this is one of the seiko solar sne models i think the entire model line they have reference number 575 or 577 something like that this is the 575 and it is the paddy edition all right so and this one here is the solar quartz movement let me just take a look at what else is inside the package here spare links all right and uh, okay some special hang tag here paddy hang tag and also got the hang tag for reference number okay so this is the sne 575p1 so usually when you see the sne reference number i think it refers to a quartz movement and never mind the retail price right nobody pays retail for a seiko <laughs> so the newer sne 57 something series uh, they all have a really small case size this one here i think is about 38 millimeters case size and this being a special paddy edition they have like uh, different colored hands and i'm really liking this shade of blue here all right this one here the hour markers the dive markers here from 1 to 15 i like this shade of blue light blue baby blue <laughs> looks really sweet so with all the packaging out of the way let's take a Closer look at the Seiko SNE 575. Interestingly, this entire series, the 569, 571, 573, uh, they don't have a nickname, all right? So it's really unusual. That shows that this entire series here, they don't get very much attention. So the fans, they can't be bothered to give it a nickname. So maybe we should think of a nickname for this series here, okay? So uh, this one here being solar and 38 millimeters, maybe we'll just call the entire series the solar 38 so if you agree with me maybe leave a comment in the comment section below i'm also liking this texturing on the uh, dial here so as i play with the light here you can see the texturing so it's pretty cool uh, something different from the usual sunburst or flat dial here so a quick check on the bezel action here okay the usual 120 Seiko click and feel to it so let's just check for misalignment oh okay so this is the genuine Seiko <laughs> the bezel here is slightly misaligned uh, over here I can see that it is slightly to the left but I can't seem to reposition it so I think that's pretty acceptable for Seiko overall I would say the design for this watch is rather bland okay so I don't think this is a homage uh, it's an original design by itself so full stainless steel construction steel bracelet steel case with mostly brush finishing they, they do have a polished chamfer here so that's pretty impressive for uh, more entry-level prospects and let's do a quick wrist shot all right oh okay oh this is rather tight for me so I might have to resize this later on uh, as I film the detailed review so slightly tight for me but I think overall this watch here you know it fits smaller wrists very well 38 millimeters case size and thickness I think is only about 11.5 uh, let me just measure and give you the specifics later on in the full review these days they started to build smaller case diameter watches and I think uh, you know people with smaller wrists like myself i think 
we would like to give this one a try okay so the bracelet here is still very basic okay oh it's got a folded end link as well all right so hollow end links and this is the same old same old Seiko clasp all right it does have a dive extension okay because this one is pro specs okay but I'll never get to use it in so everything is just very you know conservative design nothing out of the ordinary even the crown guard here it looks really boring all right just two bits of metal and just protects the crown unsigned crown here so uh, stay tuned for the full review it's gonna come in a few weeks all right this is the watch khaki see you soon bye bye